liked it. Here I am. Yes, 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 yes. Is your phone on Do Not Disturb? Yes. Right. Action. <laughs> Ta -da. Good morning, everyone. Yes, good morning. Happy Friday. And um, uh, we've got some bits and pieces to show you. We've had some stuff going out this week. We've got some new bits coming in. And um, before we go any further, I just wanted to give my sister a massive shout out. Bless her heart. She was in the shop all day yesterday, sorting out our Facebook account when we finally decided that it is dead. It's deader than the most dead, dead thing. And so Ginge has disconnected it. That's the old Facebook. Sorry, just got fancy. to rejig this. Bear with while there's a wobble. And she has opened our new Facebook page, which is called Fifi's Fancy Furniture Second. Is that right? Yeah. It's right, isn't it? So we're asking everybody to go on and like and follow us on that. To say it's a little bit gutting is an understatement because we've got over 4,000 <coughs> followers on our old account. And now we're having to start from new. But we have to draw a line under it. And that's it. And start with our new one. I think it's been a bit confusing for people because... The old account was connected to the Instagram, so Fifi was loading on Instagram and it was automatically going to that Facebook, which gave the impression it was still active. Mm. But we've had to, we did the final uh, post to put on the Facebook page to say this is now stopping, and then we disconnected it. So we've got no way now of ever getting it's to it. It's killed again. by death, hasn't it? Thank God. Thank Get God. Rid. Yes, absolutely. So it's onwards and upwards. Try not to focus on the bereavement and we will um, be able to do a little uh, Facebook live from that channel yes again Do people and have asked Fiona LP particularly yeah. I haven't got back to you yet Fiona because I was needing to speak to Ginge um, but yes we will do some Facebook lives as and well in due course. also we'll be able to put the link to this YouTube into the feed there so it'll be easier for people to find the YouTube channel so it's all good really. Needless to say I was extremely stressed and all I was doing was watching and Virginia would say to me, what's the password for such and such? And I think, I don't know, I don't know, because I'm useless. But she's trying to target which out. age group to speak to Fiona in. <laughs> it went down from 10 to 4, <laughs> and then 3. And then 83. <laughs> oh, my God. If you'd been here, Nick, yesterday, I was so stressed. I was still awake at 2.30 this morning, you know. <sighs> anyway, that aside, um... Let's have a wander around. Yesterday, I had the great delight. I had a do list, and on my do list was contacting this local artist, and he must have picked up on it tele telescopically, even telepathically, even, um, because he arrived bringing me some of his amazing artwork, which I just love. This one is actually oil on canvas, and it's um, his take on a very, very famous um, uh, BP sign, which sold for so many thousands of pounds the real one um and isn't he sweet the way he's sitting just in front of it that's so well posed paddy well done darling um so we've got it now on canvas that one i know is going to be 295 slightly more than the others but just because of the work that was in it then he bought this one in which i think is my favorite i haven't priced this one up yet but i do absolutely love this i love the colors i love the faces this is actually pasted on an old piece of board and it's made to look like it's old, an old enamel sign. So clever how he's done the rust stripping down. I mean, he's just super talented. Um, I think he's in his 70s, isn't he, Ginge? About 70-something. Just a lovely guy. Can I give you that a second, Nick, just to hold? 
Um, then we've got this one. If I turn that round, I thought this was a bit of fun, especially for somebody who loves cats and likes a little bit of colour. And then we've got um, an aviator over here for the Smoke Players Airman, which I think anybody who's got any airmen in their family might rather like. And we've got the Hutchinson's Tires, the tire with nine lives with a funny cat on it. So um, those only came in yesterday and I've just not had a chance to price them up. But I know the price of the big one, but I'll work out the prices on the others and we'll put those on later. Um, we also had this gorgeous little child's chair in. Um, had been in the same family for years and then finally he said to me, would you like it? I'm sure somebody would love to paint it, etc. So we may paint it or we may just put it on as it is. Sturdy little chair, absolutely gorgeous, would paint beautifully. And then I've got two of these extremely good quality reproduction side tables. The work on the legs, etc., I think is just awesome. We've got the ball and claw feet, very, very sturdy, beautiful. What is this stuff called? Not marquetry, it is marquetry, isn't it? <laughs> on the top just a really really lovely pair of tables and those are going to be 120 pounds each nick um has moved this up here what did we sell we sold the beautiful denny loon that our lovely lovely sophie had painted and i don't know if people remember that with the free-handed flowers on branches and birds and that sold to a lovely lady and couple at the weekend so nick's brought this one up here just to showcase the color which is the um, aubergine colour, which is called licorice. Um, so let's go and have a look um, what we've got down here. On the way, we've had this one in this week. Um, you picked this one up, didn't you, Nick? And was it fair to say that it was in a pretty unbelievably dreadful state? Yeah, it's um, been painted before by somebody, um, but it looked like they put it under the plastic. It was terrible, wasn't it? So um, there was no time and it would have taken too long and it wouldn't have been cost effective to completely strip it right back. So all I've done is I've sanded it back and got rid of all the layers of paint and brush marks, heavily distressed it, rewaxed it, and then I've painted on all the gold over the decorative bits. And actually, I think as a, a hall table now or a little table in a lounge or even in a bathroom, and I put this Christmas greenery on and somebody came in and said, is that your only Christmas decoration? I said, no, it's not. We haven't even done our Christmas decks yet. But I just think that green on this table, lots of ferns and things would be absolutely super. And, you know, you wouldn't have to be too precious with it. And that has gone on for £115. So coming down into the other room then, Nick. Um... It looks quite empty in here, actually. That's because we've got all the chairs and things outside. We've got more chairs than you can shake a stick at. Uh, the wardrobe that was here, the one with the lovely carving on, is now in the back of Nick's van. We loaded that this morning, and you're delivering that today, aren't you? And then I got this last night. Pick this one up in Wickwall. Um, a perfectly sturdy uh, pine wardrobe, modern pine wardrobe, the sort of orange pine that I just can't stand. So this one we're going to paint, and I had some leftover wall paint called salt of the earth from my front bedroom and i'm going to paint it with that and then just clear wax it and i'm glad that people have a chance to see it looking like this because we'll have to show you what it looks like when it's finished i am dying to do that it looks so nice just can't decide what color to paint it on the inside but we will so that's that um i think we may have a few new mirrors and things hanging up here uh that one needs its label flipping over nick i can't remember how much that was it wasn't very much was it but anyway a nice shape mirror for reasonable money. It only went on to Instagram last week if you want to flip through our Instagram channel to find it. Um, $59.95 for that big oval mirror. Um, things here much the same. <sighs> Dust in here is terrible. I just do some housework. Um, yep, yeah, everything here is the same. I bought this spinner up from the seller because I've had a whole load of new, very, very funny cards in. Didn't get a chance to put them into this yesterday, but I will today. You can imagine. Yes. Manifest them. Yes. <laughs> that Manifest would be nice. the cards. They're in the... They've all been bought and paid for. Don't the cards look nice? And now I need to just put them on there. We've had some money pigs in. There's one over there, look, Nick. Uh, these are great. These are lovely little Christmas presents, actually. The pink pig, which is 21 .95. You put your money in there. 
and then there's a screw here to unscrew it comes to two parts to get your money out so that's 21.95 the white one is 21.95 they're heavy they're rather lovely old-fashioned and then this bigger pig um, is 26.95 and uh, great Christmas presents that's it I think um, we almost don't need to go outside because there are so many chairs out there but um, if you want chairs we've got them so we're now going to take a commercial break and we're back just like that so I wanted to show everybody we've had the new um, alfresco color that's come in hot lips and a beautiful beautiful red so I thought we'd have a go at painting a letter R which I've lost that's really good isn't it where do we put it gosh I could pay a monkey to do this better than I can um, they also do this in the wall paint, two and a half litres for 42.95. Ooh, look at that, see, look at that, look at that, look at that. And they do um, the trim paint as well. But I thought for Christmas, wow, this is going to be a bit sexy for painting something rather bright for Christmas. And I'm thinking maybe mixing it in with some um, gold edging, some of the French teens, etc. So let's just have a go. I've got a letter R here, R for red. So um, I haven't cleaned it, I haven't sanded it, I'm just going to use it as a demonstration of the colours. So let's see. Oh yes, that's a lush colour. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So the um, Alfresco paints, for those that don't know, as their name would suggest, are designed for outside, but they are tough, durable, weatherproof, and so people paint their kitchens with them. They um, can paint furniture with them. I use it for just about everything. There's a beautiful range of colours. Um, it's too cold to be painting anything outside at the moment because you do need to make sure that you have got um, nighttime temperatures of 10 degrees for three nights in a row if you're painting something outside, like your front door, for example. Look at that, my able bodied assistant. Well done, Nick. Thank you. Um, so, uh, Indoors is fine for the moment and I allow two hours in between coats. This will need a second coat, which is normal. And um but I have to say that colour, wow. How much is the tin? Uh this size tin, which is 750 mils, is um $21.95, and the smaller tin size is $10.95. But I have actually sold out of those. I only had these in yesterday. So you don't have to put any finishing on the top. No, of this one is self-priming, self-leveling, and self-finishing. So it's an absolute doddle. Um, I suspect, Nick, we might paint the inside of that wardrobe with this. Be very demure on the outside with salt of the earth. And then we will paint the inside with this flash of red. So every time you open it, it's like, wow, look at me. So, right, there we go. So that's the first coat. We will check in and show you that um, at a later stage. And we're back again after our commercial break. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to show you these. Got these in yesterday, made by um, local craftsmen, hand cut big circus letters. And these are painted using the um, uh, French Geek King's Gold, which I think is the most gorgeous colour gold. And these are big, chunky letters, and they've been painted grey on the back. And the set is 155 for the four letters. So if anybody wants to grab themselves some lurf, then we've just got this one one-off set. So anybody's got any marriages coming up or they just want to have the word love in their study or on the wall in their kitchen, then um, better be quick because that's the only one we've got. So um, is that all for today? That's all for today. Yes. Nick, is there anything else? We, we don't need to talk about anything else, is, do we? No, no reminders of anything? That's, um, that's about it, I think. Yes. So, um, remember to come and visit at the Malt House as well. If you get yes, the Malt House is going really, really well. Delighted with that. And um, we'll soon have the information on the uh, web page <laughs> <laughs> about that. But uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, we will see you soon. Take care and uh, have a great week, everybody. Thanks Lots of learning. Bye. 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 Bye.